What is up guys and girls, my name is Sash and Deva and today I'm actually kind of feeling really sad. Mainly because in a week I'm going to have to pack up my belongings and go to this place that can only be described as hell on earth. In a week I'm going to be starting school again. Now what makes this particular first day back at school more horrid is the fact that I have PE as the first subject. Ah, physical education. Now some folks like the idea of galloping around the school several times in an effort to get but I don't. I actually haven't done PE this whole year. Every week it's something new. The last week of school it was muscle spasms, the week before that I had sinuses, and the week before that my eyes were pink. <laughs> okay guys, I'm just joking. That week my ears were pink. My eyes are fine if you know what I mean. If you do, please tell me, because I, I don't know what I mean by that. So as I was saying, according to my records, I'm more beat up than a retired rugby player. In my opinion, that's actually kind of ironic, me being compared to a rugby player. Not because I lack the charismatic strength of one, I mean look at me, mainly because of how swack I tune rugby players. Okay, so take my final exam for instance. The question stated, define a rugby player in your own words. Okay, so before I tell you how I answered this question, this question was one of those questions where I could have literally written the word crap. and would have gotten full marks. So knowing this, I thought it was appropriate to define a rugby player as a animal with a paycheck. Needless to say, I got a really long talking to about how making jokes isn't gonna help me in my life. Okay, but honestly, can I be blamed for thinking that? Okay, in my opinion, rugby just doesn't make sense. I mean, first off, the goddamn ball isn't even round. It looks like a soccer ball that got squished when your auntie sat on it. But hey, I can get over that. What confuses me is the fact that when you score a goal in rugby, it is called a try. You know, like tricycle, triangle. How many points do you think the so-called try is worth? Five points. Okay, so because of my unorthodox views about rugby, I often get tuned for not playing it. They often call me gay. And I'm all like, okay, so if being gay is not wanting to be bonded together, in a team of overly sweaty men while you push up against another team of overly sweaty men in an effort to get what essentially is a squash soccer ball, then hey, I'm just gonna go jump in my closet. Honestly, as suckish as rugby is, at least it ain't assembly. I mean, honestly, hearing your headmaster preach for about half an hour about how the new cool kids are the ones that hit the books. Count me out. I hate assembly so much, my favorite part is when the headmaster says the high school may stand up and leave. Uh, just like assembly and rugby, fire drills are something that equally confuses me and angers me. I mean, honestly, if there's a fire in my school, I'm never, ever going to remember to proceed in an orderly manner to the nearest exit. Never. Hell, I'm gonna be running like Usain Bolt while at the same time shrieking like a nerd getting robbed for the first time. Who am I kidding? I'm probably gonna be the guy throwing his books in the fire and maybe the teacher's laptops. Definitely the teacher's laptops. So that's it guys for this week. I hope you guys have a fantastic last week of holiday. Uh, hit me up on my social medias or comment down below telling me what you guys did in your holidays. Uh, I would love to know that. And yeah, if you guys like the video, do the obvious and hit a like, comment down below. And hey, if you're feeling Charlie Sheen type crazy, why not subscribe? Until next time, session. Let's put a smile on that face.